Welcome back to Eagle Talks Football, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are doing well on this wonderful March. It's a, it's the first day of March, and you know what? We're going to miss February because Arsenal was undefeated in February. And shout out to all the people watching, be it rivals or be it Arsenal fans. Let me know where you're watching from in the world right now. Do me that favor. Hit that like button also while you're at it. But before we go any further, today on this video, we're going to be discussing and learning a little bit about Arsenal's three men target sorry arsenal are lining up a three-man striker shortlist and it doesn't have the initial names that we thought it would have so let me just break down who these uh, some of these guys are first of all ivan tony will not be featured in this shortlist and victor Ozyman from nigeria also will not be featured in this shortlist so we're going to discuss who's going to be featured in the shortlist we're going to be discussing who michael arteta is interested in and we're going to talk about the age who they are and if I personally would be interested in them as an Arsenal fan myself. So before we go any further, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys don't know, today's video is sponsored by SofaScore. So make sure you guys check out the title sponsor of this video. I'm going to drop a quick video right now. The link is in the description. You can download the app. It's absolutely free. It's the best app when it comes to football. Well, so there's three strikers that we're going to discuss. We're going to discuss three strikers, and I'm going to introduce those strikers to you in a second. But before we go any further, make sure you guys let me know uh, who you would want before I try to sway your opinions. I don't want to sway your opinions on anything. So I'm going to ask you guys. There's currently the Victor Osmonds of the world, the Ivan Tonys. There's so many different strikers that Arsenal have been linked to. But the person we're now being linked to... <sighs> I have some of the guys that we're now being linked to. I'm not the biggest fan of, to be fair. We're being linked to three strikers that are all different ages and all different size, but generally the, around the same size and have a similar build. But let's discuss. First, we have the man from Eng who's currently playing England for Brighton, Evan Ferguson. Evan Ferguson is 19 years old, playing currently at Birmingham. Uh, sorry, at Brighton Hove Albion. His current numbers this season, he has six goals and 24 appearances in the Premier League. And they're saying that he could be the next big thing. The Irish footballer is touted as the next big striker to come out of Ireland. Then you go to next, you got Seco, uh, you got Benjamin Seco. Benjamin Seco is 20 years old, currently playing in the Bundesliga for RB Leipzig. Formerly was playing for RB Salzburg, if I'm not mistaken. He's a Slovenian for international and this this man is very tall and he is a goal scorer this season though not going as well as as the previous season at, at Salzburg where he scored 16 goals this season at, at RB Leipzig he's only scored seven goals in the league he has contributed to two goals in the Champions League and two goals in the cup so in all competitions quite fair he has 11 goals not too bad to be fair but then comes the next one this is the one that everybody has on their lips right now. Chelsea are after him. Arsenal are after him. His name is Vicor. Uh, sorry, I'm struggling to pronounce his name. Let me figure out how to pronounce his name one second. It is... Victor Jarkers. Jarkers. I'm sorry, I'm struggling. To, I, I forget how to pronounce his name. I literally watched like 100 videos on him just a couple of minutes ago. He's 25 years old. He's one of... After Harry Kane and Holland, he's the striker who has the next most goals in Europe. This season, he scored seven. Uh, he scored 17 goals already in the Portuguese league. He scored five goals in the Europa League. He scored three goals in the Cup, giving him a total of 25 goals. Only Harry Kane and Erling Haaland are even close to those numbers. He has the third most goals in Europe at this moment in time. So those are the three strikers. Now, first things first. Arsenal have cooled their interest in Ivan Tony and are not interested in signing Ivan Tony. That is a heartbreaking move for me. Unfortunately, I wanted Ivan Tony, but we are not going to get Ivan Tony. So forget about Ivan Tony. Now, Victor Osimhen wants Chelsea. Reports coming out yesterday that Victor Osimhen wants Chelsea. And I have a video that I can play for you guys to prove to you guys that Victor Osimhen wants uh, Chelsea. If I'm not mistaken, his agent is a former Chelsea player and he has come out on record on record, uh, what's his name? Uh, but yeah, so Ben J uh, Ben Jacobs did a video yesterday with um, former Chelsea legend and current 
manager of Victor Osman, and he had this to say. Let me show you guys what he had to say. Is that a challenge with this new Chelsea project that it is youth-led? In your day at Stamford Bridge, there were leaders everywhere. Now, perhaps not so much. Perhaps not so much. A certain Makalele was sitting here just now. Uh, somebody that I learned so I don't think that's the video that, I, that I'm speaking about. Let me see. I'm still his agent, trying to get him to Chelsea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I've got 20% of that deal. Let's hope it works out. Well, I have to ask you about that. Of course, the podcast naturally has a yeah. lot of Chelsea followers. Victor Osman to Chelsea. Genuine possibility or just media hype? I think there's genuine interest between both. I think he loves the club. He wants to come to the club. Uh, obviously, he wants to follow my footsteps as a Nigerian player who's played for Chelsea. I think uh, Victor Moses as well, Celeste Mbaba, not a lot of us. And he's looked at that. London as well, fantastic city. Um, instead of going to Liverpool or places like that, you want to live in London. Uh, but So there you go. Michael uh, uh, Michael John Obi mikhail basically saying that Victor Osman would prefer to go to Chelsea at this moment in time over PSG and Manchester United. He doesn't actually name drop Arsenal, but he does mention a bunch of other clubs ahead of uh, ahead of, uh, uh, ahead of of Chelsea that he would rather not go to. Now, I'm just going to keep it very clear and blunt. Evan Ferguson would cost Arsenal too much money and it would be too much of a risk. Evan Ferguson, in his time at Brighton, has not shown me enough to think that he is ready to come into this Arsenal team right now and, and deliver. He's only scored six goals in two seasons for Brighton. Yes, he's 19 years old, and yes, he has a high ceiling, but I am not seeing enough development and enough time for him to develop into being the best striker and to lead this Arsenal line. I don't think that is the player that's going to push us over the edge to win league titles. So for me... Evan Ferguson, I'm not even going to go any further with this conversation. Next, Benjamin Seko. I am not going any further with the Benjamin Seko conversation either. He's 20 years old, also very inexperienced. He, Yes, he has a season in the Austrian League. And yes, he has scored, what is it, 11 goals this season in the Bundesliga in his first season, scoring across all competitions, scoring 11 goals in about 29 games. So in about 29, 30 games, he scored 11 goals. Respect the, the goal tally, but I watched him versus uh, Man City in the Champions League, and it was not, he, was, he couldn't handle the battle. He just wasn't there. He was missing. He was a passenger throughout the day, and you couldn't really find him. In, in, a, in a whole team that was trying to get something going versus Man City, uh, sorry, versus Real Madrid, you couldn't really see him at all. So, sorry, I don't know why I meant, I, I meant to say Real Madrid, not, not a thing, because, of course, they played Real Madrid in the first leg where they lost 1-0. Seco played a big part uh, in that game and didn't really, didn't really show me much to make me think, like, we need to go sign this guy. Didn't really show me enough. He actually picked up a yellow card in that game. Didn't really contribute too much to that game. So I'm looking at him here and there, and I'm seeing a tall striker that can do some movements, has some good movements on the ball and off the ball. He can strike the ball quite well. He's good with his head. But, of course, there's just a big glaring hole in his in his experience. So I'm looking at his experience, and I'm saying, I don't know if he has enough experience for me to go out of my way and say we need to go sign him. Also, he doesn't get many assists. He doesn't really – he might link up and do some passing. He does a lot of good defensive work, but – I don't see the a creative side of his game also. I don't think he can just get you a goal out of anything. So that's from what I've noticed from Benjamin Seko. Now, the guy who is most likely the hottest link to Arsenal at this moment in time is this man right here. And I'm not going to act like I've, I know much about him. I literally learned about him today. I was, I was scrolling around TikTok Sorry, I was scrolling around TikTok and I and I and I and I see I came across a bunch of videos about this guy. And I'm just gonna try to see if I can find you some of these videos. Like there's just so many videos about this guy scoring ridiculous goals, doing crazy stuff, and majority of the people are just talking about him like this right there. And, and when it comes to this man, he's 25 years old. He's the sweetest inter in inter international. Chelsea are interested in him, a lot of people are interested in him. He formerly played for Coventry. City and scored a lot of goals. Let me give you guys a little bit of his quick resume. This is a man who played for Brighton, didn't really do much. He played a total of four league games, uh, four games for the Brighton, and he only scored in the cup. 
and he assisted also. For Swansea, played 11 games, didn't do nothing. But when he went to Coventry is where he really found his feet. He played 19 games in his first season, got three goals. They kept him. They signed him on a free deal. The following season, he scored 17 goals and got five assists. And then the following season after that, got 21 goals and 12 assists. This is an all-around striker, ladies and gentlemen, who can not only get you goals, but he can also get you assists. Then... For his country, he's also played in the European qualifiers, he, uh, and, he's, and he scored uh, three goals and gotten one assist. He's one of the main men in Portugal right now, and he's one of the main men in Europe. And what he's doing at this moment in time is very impressive. They're calling him another version of Erling Haaland. They're calling him another version of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now, I'm not going to gas him up too much because personally for me, I, I still hope that we can go sign a more proven striker like the uh, like the Ivan Tonys or Victor Osimans. But it seems like this is what the route that we might go on. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was our number one target going into the summer, if this this gentleman was the number one guy. And personally, for me, if if I had a choice between Evan Ferguson, Stecco, and this guy, I'm taking him all day long. Vic, Vicor uh, Goreson is much better than these other guys. And he's already shown this season what he can do in the Portuguese league. Now let's see if that can translate into the Premier League because the Portuguese league's football has translated well in the past to the Premier League. For example, I can give you guys Cristiano Ronaldo. For another example, I can give you Bruno Fernandes. These are players who came directly from the Portuguese league and embedded themselves into the Premier League like that. So I leave you guys with this. Who do you think Arsenal should sign as a striker? Would you be underwhelmed with the potential signing of however you pronounce this guy's name? I struggle with his pronunciation. Sorry for the unprofessionalism. And of course, I did find one video that I might want to play for you guys. I'll tell you, Holland, I would only place at the moment, I would only put one striker above. And no guys except. He's only putting one striker ahead of Victor Yosser, and it's not even Erling Haaland. He said because Erling Haaland's been injured, he would only put Harry Kane ahead of Victor Rosamond. This is the FC Wonder Kids discovering Victor Yosser and telling us he is the second best striker in Europe and in the world right now. We're going to have to wait and see. Let's see who Mikel Arteta signs. The transfer window is not until the summer. It's March. We're, going, we're jumping the gun a little bit, but hey, this I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys understand that this is a brief breakdown and I don't, I'm not going too in-depth. And honestly, you let me know. Seco, Ferguson, or Vicorioso, or Jokerson. Because Ivan Tony and Victor Osman look like they're out of the picture. But hey, I'll leave you guys there. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys. Later today on my next video, I'm going to be doing Vibes from the 6th, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.